Hello YouTube fans, it's Brad with you again. I uh, wanted to do a quick review, and not really a review, of two battery chargers. Uh, I do a lot of photography, and of course, you know, with photography in the field, you end up using a lot of batteries with your speed lights and stuff. But, um... Uh, I just kind of wanted to kind of give you some information on what I found between these two chargers. Uh, this one I've had in the beginning. This is one of the, this is actually the second one a charger that I purchased. The other one was a simple charger that, it was a simple charger, just put it that way. Uh, then I purchased this. This one I paid about $75 and it was a bundle with batteries. Um, this is the... I'm going to flip it over here so you can see the the number on it. It's the Maha, I can't see, what, MHC800S, MHC800S charger. It is a uh, multi, uh, awesome charger. It uh, charges uh, in several rates. If you put a battery in it, and I'll kind of show that to you in, real quick, but if you put a battery in and you press the soft button, immediately and then you get a little display here and it'd be in a soft charge mode if you don't press that button when you put the battery in and then you can put all the other batteries in I'm not trying to go through a, a whole tutorial on this but I believe that's I'm sure there should be one online on how this all works the thing I really wanted to get into is I bought this one right around Christmas off of eBay and I always wanted one of these. Uh, the great thing about both of these chargers is uh, that you can put one single battery and it has circuitry that charges the batteries individually except uh, uh, like the other cheaper chargers where you got to have two batteries in to charge and one could be about empty, the other one about full and it's just kind of a mess and you never know the individual uh, uh, condition of your batteries because you're charging them two at a time and it requires you to charge two at a time but I wanted to try this one this one came off of eBay it was $20 delivered uh, nice looking charger big it also has a feature unlike the Maha charger that it will charge uh, 9 volt batteries oh I did not say what this is let me give this real quick. This is the EBL 999 charger. There it is. EBL 999 charger. And get quickly to the results. This is what I find. I'm not going to take you through a whole bunch of things of hooking things up and elapsed time and this and that because it takes a long time for either one of these chargers to charge batteries but this is it's about as fast as any charger is going to charge this one right here the Maha um, I had some brand new batteries these batteries here I got for Christmas straight out of the box um, out of the box they were at 1.7 volts and so I put one in the Maha uh, on regular charge and this one doesn't do multiple charging, uh, you know, fast charge and slow charge. It just has one. You put the battery in and it charges. And I set up my camera and I set up timers and I was trying to see how long it was going to take. This charger charged that 1.7 volt battery uh, to 1.37 volts in about 45 minutes on fast charge in 45 minutes this battery in the EBL charger was only at 1.29 volts so I got two new batteries and I said let me try this one on slow and this one of course again there's no different rates like this one has at its normal rate. So I'm putting two new batteries in. I checked the voltage. Both of them were at 1.7 volts. Put them in the charger 
and I let them charge. This one on soft charge, which is like I say, it's a soft charge. It's not pushing as hard, <laughs> uh, trying to get juice into the battery. Took one about one and a half hours. One and a half hours. The EBL charger took four and a half hours to bring that battery up to one. 0.34 volts and that's what both of them ended up at right at so it will charge up to where you need it to charge up to the EBL but it is really slow and again these batteries were out of the box out of the package and they were reading 1.7 volts uh, they were supposed to be a ready to use and I kind of show you the battery the PowerX Precharged battery, uh, 2600 milliamp rechargeable battery. Um, so, even right out of the pack, it still <laughs> needs to, kind of really needed to be charged to get it to its full capacity. Again, both of these are fine chargers. Just remember if you get this one and this is a more of an overnight charger. If you need batteries charged now, you want to go with something more expensive. This again, uh, I think this one's probably around fifty bucks with just a charger. This one's only twenty. Um, I think it's still a good charger, uh, especially if you're not in a rush and you have batteries. Uh, that you like I said, you know you're not in a rush so you can put the batteries in there they're charged you can leave them in there they'll stay charged and but if you wanted the battery charge quickly because when this one's in its normal rate that battery comes out pretty warm uh, it does really push some juice through the battery I noticed on the back I'll show you this real quick this one just shows you a input voltage input uh, DC 16 volts uh, basically you know one amp this one shows your input and output I don't know the output of that I have to grab the book but I didn't want to do all that this one has an output it says 1.2 volts at uh, 270 milliamps divided by uh, 10 and I'm guessing you got to split that milliamps if you put uh, you know eight batteries in there uh, that might be even slower again uh, just a just a difference because I looked all over YouTube for a video kind of really comparing you know charging time or anything of the nature it does charge up to the uh, voltage that you needed to charge to just like the Maha it's just that it's really slow y'all have a great YouTube day